I'm CBS 4's George Estevez. In your community this week, a touching story with how these South Floridians right here are helping this teenager overcome an amazing battle. How you too can join this team to give Amanda a fighting chance. A South Florida teenager is showing all of us how to be strong. She is just 15 years old and battling a kind of cancer that is so intense, it's taken a toll on the family emotionally and financially. CBS 4's George Estevez takes us into your community to show how we can all help this family. At 15, Amanda Blake is glad to be the only girl in her family. There's a lot less rules than when you're at 11. And you don't have as much responsibility as if you're 18, so it's like the perfect age. <laughs> but also at 15, Amanda has had to grow up fast. She's battling cancer. A simple knee pain last year led to a doctor's visit, and that led to a diagnosis of osteosarcoma, a bone cancer. Chemo led to surgery, and just this week, the tumor has spread. Things just keep adding on. When you think you're almost there, something else happens. But this 15-year-old has her dad. He's tough about it who had to leave his job and join his two sons who are all helping Amanda. It's, it's, it's hard. It's a lot harder being a single parent. Amanda. Hi. But the family has found help from Sandra Moody, who started the Jessica June Foundation after her daughter lost her battle with cancer. That's about the worst thing a parent can be told is that your child has been diagnosed with cancer. And although her work with Amanda is partly funded by the Wasi Foundation. That's what we're here to do, to give and lend support to our community. It is not enough to support this family who needs to concentrate on letting Amanda just be 15. I'm kind of a proud person. I don't like to ask for help a lot, but I do need it. Okay, so you heard the story and now you know that the Blake family needs help. So all you have to do is go to neighborsforneighbors.org or simply call the phone number 305-597-4404 to either attend Thursday's fundraiser where Amanda's going to be or simply donate to help the family out. At Miami Children's Hospital, George Estevez, CBS 4 News. Well, Neighbors for Neighbors has donated a couple hundred dollars in gift certificates for the family to buy food. And as George said, you should contact Neighbors for Neighbors if you would like to help that family, too. Looks like she has a lot of people pulling for her right yeah, now. A lot of support, which is yeah. good, but she could always use more.